Hello subscribers and fellow DIY homeowners. I'm talking to you today about a situation we have in the ceiling, which is a, uh, a crack that keeps coming back. I'm not sure if you can see it from that angle, but I'm gonna give you another look at it here. And so um, that crack's been filled before and uh, you know dug it out, filled it in, smoothed it out. And after time, it comes back. We've got a load-bearing wall right here and a beam underneath the floor. And so I have a feeling that all that pressure is creating the, the crack to, to reoccur. So, you know, what, uh, what a lot of people use and I've used before is this mesh tape here. What I'm going to try is Fibafuse, which I've talked about in another video, but I've never used on a crack in the ceiling like that before. So here's what the Fibafuse looks like pretty thin. It's actually thinner than the fiberglass mesh. Here's the uh, what it looks like if you want to go shop for it at the store. I'm going to also uh, link to it in the description down below. So uh, this is all sanded. I've already done that off camera. We're going to apply a little bit of uh, uh, 45 minute mud on it and then we're going to lay the fiber fuse on there, smooth it out, let it dry, come back and do a couple more coats and then hopefully it's going to have the finish that we want, so stay with me. Okay, we're all mixed up. I'm just going to put a little bit of a thin uh, amount where the tape's going to go. a pre-cut piece of fiber fuse that I measured and cut earlier. Move it over a little bit. Squeezing out what was underneath. Okay, we're going to leave it like that, let it dry, come back and knock off the high points and go back over it with a wider uh, tape knife. The first uh, coat is dry, we're just going to knock down the uh, high spots a little bit using this multi-tool and that's about it. Just any teeny little clumps That's what we want to get because we're going to go back over it now with a thicker coat. Okay, next morning and we're gonna give it a light sand just to knock down the high points again and then uh, one final coat after that.
that dry and then do the uh, final sanding before we can uh, prime. And uh, looks like the three coats are going to be about all we need here. So um, with this dry, we'll sand it again and I'll show you a close up when it's finished. It's all dry now and I want to do the final sanding. Take you up here so we can t get a look. It is absolutely smooth. The um, you know different colors you're seeing are just the difference between the old ceiling paint and the joint compound. This is absolutely smooth, and uh, where you really where this thing really takes takes uh, a different look is after you get the get the primer on here. Uh, I'm going to do another video on that. Uh, multiple coats of the primer so that way you can get that or that same orange peel look that you have on the rest of the ceiling uh, with the roller maybe two to three coats of primer so that way you don't notice the difference between the ultra smooth finish of the joint compound and then not quite so smooth finish of the rest of the ceiling so uh, again I'm happy with this repair and um, now the time will tell. We're going to wait a few months to see if this crack comes back at all, but I'm fairly confident we're not going to see it ever again. So here we are. It's actually two months later now. I just wanted to wait before making the final uh, outro for this video, and uh, there's no crack that's returned. You can still see the area where the repair was. No crack. Maybe I'll go over it one last time just to completely uh, Make sure you don't see the uh, the bump again. The ceiling kind of dips anyway, due to the uh, the beam that's up there. But um, no crack has returned two months later, so that's great news. The fiber fuse has worked uh, because any other repair, the crack was back much sooner after just a couple of weeks. So happy with the fiber fuse and fixing the crack in the ceiling. I hope this helped you uh, to fix cracks in your ceilings if you happen to have any. If you like the video, please hit that like button. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.